Hello Thompson fam, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're doing a, a, a Premier League prediction of match day 19. By the time we've been watching it, halfway through the Premier League already. This Premier League has gone super quick in my opinion. Today I'm just going to be doing um, uh, obviously the prediction with Dave. Obviously he's going to do his own result uh, prediction and I'll have all different types of predictions. Before we start this video, if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, turn on the bell, like the video. Make sure subscribe, it's great to be part of the Thompson fam. Make sure that bell is there for you to upload a video. So yeah guys, not me and Mocking about No more in, no more like the longest intro of YouTubers do. So, first one is Arsenal and Newcastle. Now, you probably you know, they would have played these in the FA Cup. Arsenal beat him 2-0 in 120 minutes in the FA Cup. But you probably thought, yeah, Newcastle should have won that match in the 90 minutes. Yeah, you probably guys, if you're, not, if you're a Newcastle fan or an Arsenal fan, but the tactics of Arsenal, yeah, they can still lose. When they, they, they were playing up, before the players started playing good again, they were playing absolutely poor. And like, they lost to Burnley, Wolves, Aston Villa at the time. So yeah, it's like you 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 lose and you lose technically every game of the season almost. Like if if you like lose more than 20, 10, 15 matches, you need to be in the top five or or top ten without losing. If you lose more than that, you lose. So obviously, you, like, and obviously, like I said, Arsenal won 2 0 in the FA Cup in the 120 minutes. See, with Newcastle, they won some of a rival, they won some beaten bit of adventure. So, my prediction for Arsenal and Newcastle, I'm going for a 3 0 win over Arsenal. I mean, over Newcastle. Same for me, 3 0 win to Arsenal. On to the next one. Now, this one's supposed, and it's supposed to be a game as well, but has been posted by Aston Villa and Everton. Been postponed due to COVID outbreaks. So I do feel sorry for Aston Villa because they haven't been playing since the 8th of Jan. The last time they played was the FA Cup against Liverpool. They've got like the weak team out. But they've been postponed. So Aston Villa and Everton match have been postponed. On to the next one is Fulham and Chelsea at the London Derby. Um, Fulham obviously draw with Tottenham 1 1 in midweek. And Chelsea haven't played just yet because they've, they've, they've played in the FA Cup against Morecambe. But I think. Chelsea would should win on, should win like in real life. You know what I mean? Like say if you're a fun fan, yeah, you're bottom half of the table, but you're probably about 18, probably 17 in the league as it stands. So yeah, my prediction for Chelsea, Fulham and Chelsea, I'm going to go for Chelsea to win three 0 Have a fight. And I predict the same, Chelsea to win three 0 And the next one is Leeds and Brighton. Now Leeds and Brighton haven't been playing that brilliant, right, guys? If you're a Leeds fan, you know you draw with big teams, you lost to a big team, but you draw with Man City, you've drawn with Arsenal, you've lost to Liverpool, you've lost to Man U, you, you know what I mean? There's the big you haven't I think you haven't played Tottenham in the cup. Playing in the Tottenham, let me know the guys if you have already played Tottenham in the league so far, let me know in the comments down below. But it's just how these videos go like like with Leeds and Brighton. Brighton they keep getting lost to Man City in the midweek, not long ago. But we lead and Brian, these two like them bottom of them bottom of them was bottom of the league. I know Brian that's either Bob Burnley, Coloss uh, to Man United. So my prediction for Leeds and Brian, I like to see if it on the other love to Brian to win. So my prediction to uh, for Leeds and Brian, I'm gonna go for one 0 to Brian to beat Brian to beat Leeds one 0 same for me, bloody to win one nil. Next one is the rivalry. All guys been waiting for the understand. Probably the probably the, the best game in the in the in the in the league or the Premier League is Liverpool and Manchester United. Now you guys are gonna say in the comments or or you're gonna probably tell them tell me. Anyway. I don't. Oh, uh, you're supposed to. If, if you're my man, not your friend, you're supposed to hate Liverpool. You're supposed to. No, I don't. Even if I'm, you know, if we're playing against the big teams, Manchester, I don't like him. Same with Liverpool. I didn't hate him. Liverpool as a cracking team. They've got Jurgen yeah, Klopp for the manager. I mean, who? I mean, they won the league, Liverpool, tw not, long, not long ago. I mean, yeah. I know you're at the moment. I'm man at the top of the league. I'm not saying he's going to win the league too. It's too early at the moment. Yet, yeah, my point when it comes, it'll be halfway through the season. But I don't know what to say. I really cannot say about that league, Liverpool and Man United. We, 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 I love, we love seeing Man United win the league. Yeah, we, I love to. Every Man United in the final would love, love to win the league. At the moment, three points clear of Liverpool. If we, I'll be happy in real life to be a draw. But if we can draw with Liverpool and we beat Fulham, if Man if Man United, Man United draw with Fulham, Man United draw with Liverpool and beat Fulham, I'll be happy four points. 
and we might and depend on how Liverpool play in the next game. So my prediction for Liverpool and Man United, I'm going for a one-one draw. Liverpool one, Man United one. I'm going for Man United two, Liverpool two. So two two, so Liverpool two, Man United two. Next one is Man City and Crystal Palace. Now Crystal Palace, both of watching them playing again, and they're all playing against Arsenal by the time you're watching this. They're probably going to be playing all the hour, playing all the big by the time you've been watching this video. Yeah. Uh, Man City is obviously a bit broad in the other in the midweek football. Yeah, it's like yeah, Man City they're, they're top in the top four now at the moment. Man City can still spoil the dreams and still they can win they, they can still win the league. Man United and Liverpool can still mess up. And they can they can actually mess up big time. I mean they can like, we can lose two now. And Liverpool, we but we go down, and Man City come go second, we go third. It, it depends how the team like, like when, when it's gets halfway through the season. But I'm not gonna say he's gonna win the league this year. When it's match day thirty or match day thirty one, yeah, that's when I start saying it. Um, so yeah, Man City bet Brighton, obviously like I said, one 0 So I see Crystal Palace playing at Arsenal and like a London Derby by the time it watches is Thursday night, but or is a third well, time it watches it. So, depends on how I upload this video. So yeah. So my prediction for Man City and Crystal Palace, I'm going for a three one to Manchester City. Three two to Manchester City. Uh, next one is Sheffield United and Tottenham Hotspur. Now Tottenham have been playing absolutely for they've been playing with mean, a bet a lot of, like a different team of sixty four players is in the league. Uh, Marine, if you're in the FA Cup, they've been five 0 Like and then they draw with Tottenham. I mean that's got some good you you you, you mean the next round, Tottenham in the FA Cup. We know we know you're gonna beat them easy. But we'll see, in the Premier League, Tottenham was like, they was like top of the lead in the league in a couple of matches. And then they weren't going all the way down, not doing very good, like them drawing matches. I mean, I remember Tottenham was at the top of the lead, Liverpool was second, and now it's all the way around now. Like, it's my knowledge at the top at the moment, as it stands. Could all change while I'm in the weekend. See, Sheffield United, the, the one, the bet Newcastle, the first ever game in the season. But a Sheffield United fan, smash the light boy for your Sheffield United fan. Like, yeah, you bet Newcastle one no, but only the most by a penalty. I mean, it's, it, if it was, if it was, if it was all game, it'd be a nil nil match. So, my prediction for um, Sheffield United and Tottenham, I'm going for four nil for Tottenham Hotspur to beat Sheffield United. Mind you, four nil for Tottenham. It's the same, basically, the same. Same, basically, the same. Uh, next one is West Ham and Burnley. Now West Ham, obviously, they've obviously played well. They played on a Monday night. Obviously, they played in the FA Cup against whoever I forgot. Oh, Stockport against Stockport. They only won one nil, scraping in one or two nil. Um, Burnley, you lost obviously in, in the FA. Well, you won in the FA Cup, but you lost to my night in the league. So it's everyone can still win the league. Anyone, it doesn't matter. Apart from. If Sheffield United to lose every game, yeah, they'll be ready to go to the next ten, next tier. Um, yeah, so um, that's all I'm going to really say. West Ham and Burnley, Burnley can still win against West Ham. They can. Well, my prediction for West Ham and Burnley, I'm going for West Ham to win one 0 I'll say the same. Burnley to win one 0 no, it's the most, most boring, ridiculous, easy feeling I've ever And last but not least, it's the West Midland Derby, Wolves versus West Bromwich. Now, I'm, I'm now moaning about West Bromwich again. I'm <coughs> moaning about him now. So, if you're a West Bromwich fan, and if you're, and if you're, if you're, if you're, if you're a Samuel Dyson, if you're watching this probably, then you never will. But if you are, you need his support. Since it's January, you need to get some get some buy some players in a transfer win because it's January now like you've got, got to the end of the, probably end of the year end of the month or f first week in Feb to start setting like you need to, to sell all your players and get some new ones because how are your players are like, in West Brom I mean Bobby Mott and they were here with Pope sort of back up here West Brom yeah I love all the teams in the company I like West Brom I like all the men in the team West Brom more that's the villain but I'm going to hold on but West Brom they only had one point in about how many matches now? Come, you guys can tell me in the comments. But they they ain't really good. I mean, they've done a draw with that one game against Liverpool. That's not really not me up a little bit. So I'm um, in my opinion. 
in, in real life, war, if you're in war as a fan, I was like, oh, we should beat West Brom. How they're performing, how they keep losing matches, get lost, lost to Blackpool in, in, the, in, the, in the FA Cup. I thought they might have beat them. That's what I thought. I mean, there was 2-2-2-2, two, 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 and lost on penalties in the FA Cup. I mean, if you're a West Brom manager, I sound like what is and if you're a West Brom team, or if you're a, or a fan of West Brom, what do you need? What's the improvements? Because this is my bit. You, you, yeah, West Brom do need to improve a lot more. I mean, you, you draw with Liverpool. The reason why you sat your manager, sat around back where name the last manager, because he wasn't winning every game of the season. That's what I was, that's just my opinion. Like, we will have all the guys can agree with me or disagree with me, disagree with me in the comments. So, my prediction is for Wolves and West Brom. I'm going for a nil nil match. Because how West Brom playing? Yeah, Wolves lost to Everton. And West Brom losing the FA Cup and then starting to draw more points. I mean, I've yet to draw, I know they draw with Liverpool, they draw with Manchester City, but it's not really good enough. So I'm going to go for a nil nil draw with West Brom for Wolves and West Brom with I'm going for a 1 1 draw for Wolves and West Brom. So that is it today, guys. That is it for the particular feature. Yeah, it's only a nine games to be playing with one game, unfortunately, has been postponed. But obviously, yeah. I think. Just double check. Before we got a first one more prediction, I forgot to actually say. It's not in my notes, but it is actually the one is, is Leicester and Southampton. My apologies. I thought that was the last one. So it's Leicester and Southampton. For a little quick catch up. Uh, obviously, Leicester and Southampton being playing a good as well at the moment. Just give a brief update about it. Yeah, they could still win. One of these teams, I think Leicester probably will win. But well, haven't got in my notes. I thought it was my last uh, game. My apologies. So my prediction for Leicester and Sam. I'm going for a two-one to Leicester. It's Leicester. Can't speak. What about you? Two-one to Leicester. Okay, guys. That is it for that. My apologies. I did not. I thought it was the last one. So my apologies. So that is it for today's video. If you did enjoy it, smack. Make sure you smash the like. Make sure you smash the like. If you're new to my channel, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you uh, that's good, so, so, subscribe. It's clear. Be part of the Thompson, but make sure that belt is on TV as well. Hope you guys are staying safe wherever you're around the world. And I'll see you guys. Everyone, next video. Peace and goodbye. Have goodbye. fun.